being a Chelsea fan, I was just kind of optimistic that we'll win because we've had a very bad form this season. Clash of the Titans between the two London rivals, Chelsea versus Arsenal. Already Man City has overtaken Arsenal on the lead of the table with 30 matches played. A win for Arsenal today, Arsenal will automatically overtake Manchester City. Let's go hear what the fans have to say. This is Premier Sports Fan Centre. Hello viewers, you are welcome to the Premier Sports Fan Centre and this is our live segment of the show. And still on the World Cup, this is day for Group D. Earlier on we saw the match with between England versus Haiti and it ended 1-0 in favor of England. That is means England is stopping Group D with three points. Now the next match is the match between China versus Denmark. That is the decider of Group D. We don't know who's going to take the day. And that is the match we'll be bringing to you live today, right? I'm not alone on the studio. I'm yet again with the one and only Shege Shegelu. Wow, How do you do today? <laughs> It's a bit you know, <laughs> day of all football. Yeah. But this is studio from the first game. This is the third game. Um, possibly this is the last game for today in the mm -hmm. Premier World Cup on, on Denmark versus China. We are, we are around the um, 45th minute right now. It's still 0 0 between both teams. And you can see that from the, um, possession, po for the football game possession, it has been an evil game. Uh, let's go straight to the head, uh, head to head. It's just one win. They've just both, they've both faced each other twice. That's talking about China and Denmark. And on both occasion, they've won one apiece, 1-0, one, zero, one, zero. So it's an evil game. And you can see it's, it's turning out to be a beautiful game of football. And I'm sure the England, the England contingent will be watching this game because these are the two other teams in their group. And they will want to fancy their chances against any of these two so they can proceed to the second round. Yeah, they, want to, yeah, they don't need to fancy because this group... It's a very, to me, it's a very tight group, and uh, uh, the way we saw um, England play today against IT, IT held them to one, one and that goal came through a penalty you kick. Know, you have to give it to IT goalkeeper mm, yeah. in that game. She made 10 mm. crucial saves in yeah. that game. That mm. is, I think that is the joint, joint highest in this competition with mm. um, Nigeria's goalkeeper against um, Canada. Mm. So you have to give it to the goalkeeper, either for the loss, she should, she should be the man of the match in that game. Yeah. So, you know, it will actually look like a spoiler for any of this, or the, any of this team. Okay, right now we are at the halftime of the game between Denmark and China. 0-0 zero, zero at halftime. Still a lot to play in the second half. And trust also will be here to give it plus as it goes in the second half. And back to what we're saying, it will look, like, will look likely to be the uh, spoilers in this group. Because looking at how good de this Denmark team is, and China, from what we've seen in this first half, it might be really hard for them to actually get a needed victory against any of these two teams. So let's see how they're going to fear out because England currently has three points and I'm sure Denmark and China will be looking at how they can also get their three points by beating IET. We will likely be the um, weakest, weakest link or weakest team in this group. All right. Let's quickly look. And we, you already told them about the statistics of the match. Let's quickly read it down. The end of the fourth half and 53% uh, goal position for uh, ball position for Denmark and uh, 47 for China. It's not the gap is not much. Then goal attempt both are sharing it three three each. Then shot on goal one shot on goal for China and none for Denmark. Then shot off goal two for China none for one for Denmark. Then block shot two block shots for Denmark and. None for China. Free kicks, five free, free kicks for China and three for Denmark. Corner kick, one corner kick for Denmark and three for China. Offside, one offside for Denmark. Goalkeeper save, one goalkeeper save for Denmark. None for China. Foul, four for uh, Denmark and three for China. Yellow card, just one yellow card in the game and that is against them, Denmark. Then I'm um, Attacks, 72 attacks for Denmark and 50 for China. 13 dangerous attack for Denmark and 21 for China. That is what played out in the first half of the match. And it has been a very tight encounter. I'm no surprise. I'm not surprised at all. I expected it because this is where the match is. I was expecting the match between England and Haiti would just be a walkover. Just, just, 
England just come up and, and won the match in the, probably five goals to nil or five one six one, but it was one nil. But right there is the group decider, and that is the match between Denmark versus China. And the first half and still goalless, no goal has been considered. But we are seeing all the statistics of the first of the match, and uh, to me. There's still a lot to do. Yeah, there's to still a lot, a lot to play. It's, it's the first game, so not really the decider in the group. So it's just the first game between both, both teams. And this group is looking like an interesting group because every team, the three top teams in this group are capable of beating each other. Talking about England, uh, Denmark, and China. Mm. Three fantastic football playing nations. So this one, I think this one group, everybody needs to put their eye on mm. in this FIFA, in this Women's World Cup. Any of the three teams is actually good to go through. So, mm -hmm. interesting, interesting game in the first half. Uh, from the start to reel out, we, we, um, I think our viewers can actually see that it has been a very nearly contested game of football mm -hmm. between these two nations. Yeah, contested game between these two play. Let's quickly look at China, how far they have gone when it comes to women football. When it comes to women football, China have participated in the Women World Cup Eight, eight times in 1991, 1995, 1999, 2003, 2007, 2015, 2019, and 2023, respectively, finishing run out up once in 1999 and once in fourth place, that is in 1995. So what are we expecting in 2023? Well, I'm not really expecting much from China in this, in this 2023 uh, female, female World Cup because the game has really advanced than the way it was when they were um, when they were actually um, let me how can I put it when they were actually one of the top teams because right now you're talking about England you're talking about of uh, even France you're talking about France because they have a very beautiful league in France teams like PSG and Olympique Lyon they also dominate European football yeah. so you're talking about France you're talking about um, USA and um, Germany so these powerful nations have actually left China behind. But you can't really give it, you can't take away how good the Chinese league is, what they were not successful in doing with the male um, league. They were actually successful in the female league. So they have a fantastic league in that country. Mm. And that is one of the things you're seeing with the uh, national team, the female national team, and how good they are. Far better than their male team. You hardly see the China male team perform or come to, come to the World Cup. But the female team has actually been playing very well. So mm. this is... this. Like um, where Yemi was saying the, during the first game, when we we're talking about Japan, South Korea, and China. Yes, these are three teams are actually the powerful nations when it comes to female football in Asia. Mm. And you can see it in this game. They don't look out of place against Denmark at all. They're even mm. looking like the team likely to score a goal in this game. Mm. Of course, likely to score a goal in this game. We hope to see a winner in this encounter. And um, the head coach of the Chinese side, Xun Xinjiang. That is the head coach and the captain of the Chinese side, Wu Haiyan. That is the captain. And uh, we've seen their exploit in their previous matches. We saw their exploit. Let us quickly look at their head-to-head, um, -head, what they have played so far before coming to the World Cup. For the Chinese side, before coming to the World Cup, they, let me, let's, let's just take a look at the five last matches they played. For the Chinese side, the five last matches they played, they won two, drew two, and lost one against Spain. Spain defeated China 3-0. That is in April 11th. April 11th, that is the match prior. 3-0. Yeah, 3 nil prior to this um, um, World Cup. Then um, they drew against um, Colombia and Switzerland. They drew 2-2 two, two against Colombia and goalless against Switzerland. Then they were defeated by Russia and uh, Russia again. Russia defeated them twice. But home, not home, in their own home, in their own soil. Russia defeated them twice. That is um, talking about China. Two, yeah, talking about China. So Russia defeated them twice. That is um, uh, way in um, fourth uh, of fourth uh, uh, of um, July and uh, first of July, two one and one nil respectively. Russia defeated them. Yeah. Okay. Um, not really a good one for them coming into the um World Cup. Walk up proper talking about China, and that was why we said during the friendly match, it's always mm. a different ball game. Uh, with the walk up, 
Yeah, you can win all your games at the, at the friendly match and lose at the World Cup just exactly the way uh, Zambia did today. Because everybody was banking on the Zambia victory against Germany, thinking, oh, that's what they're going to bring to the World Cup. Mm. And unfortunately, they didn't give us that. Now you have a China who actually lost most of their um, friendly match, even against a team like Russia. But here they are today in the World Cup, giving us fantastic game of football. So it's always a different ball game when you play in the, uh, in the um, friendly matches and World Cup proper. Mm. A different ball game. Let's quickly look at the Denmark side. They are her last five matches played before coming into the World Cup. They played five matches and they won two, drew two, and and, and uh, just like um, no, no, they won four of their matches played. Out of the five matches, they won four they and defeated, lost one. They even defeated um, Denmark. Yes, uh, Sweden. Sorry. Yeah. So they played. Uh, the only people that defeated them was Spain. Was Spain two zero. Two zero. Spain is better. Two zero. They played. Uh, one nil victory against um, Japan. Japan. They played a one nil victory against Sweden. And, and they defeated them um, uh, Uruguay three two. two three two. Then defeated Norway two, two zero. zero. So they, they look have, better. They, yeah. they actually look have good form. You know, four wins on the bounce before mm. losing against uh, another powerful nation. Talking mm. about Spain. So the form was actually good, and you can see it in their display in this game. Mm. It's just about them getting the ball to Penai Ada. One of the fantastic strikers in Europe. Yeah. She currently plays with um, Bayern Munich after after joining Bayern from Chelsea. Yeah. So she's one of the fantastic players. One time um, ballon, female Ballon d'Or winner. So it yeah. shows how good Penada is for this team and how much experience she, has, experience she has tried to bring to this team. So it's about them coming back in the second half and trying to um, put more goal and put more pressure on the Chinese. But the game is so open. I expect one or two goals in this game by second half. Hmm. Expecting a victory in the second half. But right now, it is still a goal less. The first half have come to an end. And we can see the both sides from the midfield attacking each other. From uh, the statistics we just read so far, you saw it was a tight encounter. It was so intense. But here, yeah, we are expecting a victory today. We are expecting a victory today. But if I will ask you, who do you think will come victorious in this match? Um, my money will likely be on um, Denmark because they've actually improved. And you can see it in the game that this is an impressive uh, outing in the first half. I expect them to come out second half and get to the victory. They have they have fantastic players in that team, though you know everybody. Uh, most of the Ponta money is on uh, what's it called on China to win. Yeah. They have the better expected goal ratio. But when you look at the possession, the ball possession, Denmark currently leads in ball possession with 53 percent against um, China, who had um, 47. Yeah, they both have same number of equal goal attempts, but you know, when you look at it, they actually they actually look the side capable of getting that going in this game. All right, let's quickly look at the starting lineup of both sides. The starting lineup of both sides. Um, you know, when we come to international uh, uh, level, which of these two sides have more players on the international uh, level? Uh, I'll say Denmark. I'll go with Denmark. Denmark has more players, more recognized players than um, China. Most of the Chinese player plays within their league. Just a couple that plays outside their league. Yeah, no, you can't take away that they have the best. They have a good league in China. So why should your player go, go outside when you have a better? Yeah, you have a good league. When you look at the Denmark team, I named uh, what's it called? Penai Ada earlier on. She's a very good player. Once played for Chelsea and currently plays for uh, Bayern Munich. So you know the level of player she mm. is. So I think I'll go out, right out tit towards okay. the side of um, Denmark, yeah. having a better team here. Yeah. He said we tit towards the side of Denmark. I want to remind you, this is Premier Sport Fan Center, and this is our live segment of the show. You can make your contribution through sending your messages through our live chat, and you can also call in to make your contribution. Like a family discussion, you can call in on our number. Remains 090304. Triple nine one seven. Those calling us from outside the shore. Our number is two three four nine zero three zero four triple nine one seven. You can call in and uh, be part of this show. Let's quickly look at the starting line up of the both side. Let's start from China. Yeah, we have uh, Luin Jianghun, Mengwen Li, Quenzu Chen, Wang Shenshan, Wu Jingchun, Zhuhian. Yang Linang, Yao Wing, Zhang Lian, Zhang Liu, Zhang Xin. We have three Zhang, Zhang, Zhang in this uh, uh, 
Oh, in this um, China. Yeah, hmm? everybody has and you know what? In the three Zhangs are in the midfield. Oh. Yeah, the three Zhangs are in the midfield. You have Zhang Xin, Zhang Ryu, Zhang Lingyang. Yeah. So what are we expecting from the side of China today? Well, I'm just expecting a good game of football like they gave us in the first half. They already came, they already came out in the first half. You know, when you match on a team like Denmark, they actually got them man for man. Mm. 53 to 47 shows that the game is not... It's, it's a balanced game, not really um, falling away from them. So they also can come out in the second half and actually lay claim for this game and get the three points. Because the three points is very much important right now. Mm. Looking at England already got in the, their own three points. So mm. I think the three points is actually important for both teams to actually fight for in the second half. And I, that's what I expect from both teams. I don't expect them playing um, compatible football. I expect them coming out, all out against each other in the second half to try and get the victory. All right, to try and get the victory. Uh, for your information, the second half have just started. The second half have just started. And uh, we'll be expecting a dicey kind of football. Because these two sides are good. These two sides are good. You'll be expecting a, a, a very high-level profile football between Denmark versus China. So just stay tuned to the Premier Sport Fan Center and let us discuss, let us talk about the matches that is ongoing. Uh, let's quickly look at the starting lineup of Denmark. With, earlier on, we talked about the starting lineup of China. Let's look at the one of Denmark. Yeah, the starting lineup of Denmark, you're having Boye S. Kristen Sin, that is the goalkeeper of Denmark. You have Hada P. Hada. Yeah, Hasbo, then them. Holmgard, Kuhi, Pavelsen, Swiftke, Sorensen, Tom, Thompson, Veggie. That is the line of, of Denmark. And then you know their tactical formation here. China is playing 4-4-2. Why Denmark is playing four one two three? So what are we? What should we be expecting in this match? Both are trying to play attacking football in the game already. It's mm. just about them just taking their chances and creating more chances. The first of us showed that they they are they actually um starve each other of chances. Just three shots against each other. Three shots for China. Three shots for um Denmark in the mm. first half. And just one shot of target. And that just that one shot is coming from China. And that's the only shot we had on target in the first half. So it's about them coming out in the second half and trying to get um, precise shots, get close to the goal, and just give us something to cheer, or give the fans in the stadium something to cheer about in this game. Mm. Give the fans something to cheer up in this game. So the second half of started. Let us look at the substitute. Let us look at the bench of the both side for the side of the China Chinese. You have in them Gao Qin, Gu Yanshang, Jin Xinjiu. Mark Yushen, Pan H, Tangjelin. Tangjelin, you know, it reminds me of one orange you used to lick here. Then we have Wang Ling, Wang L, then we have Wang Xiong, we have Wu, Wu Han Yang, Zhao Yun Ying, then Yang Wing Wing, Zhu Yung. That is the substitute of uh, the Chinese side. Oh, good, good bench, good bench, no doubt. It depends on how the coach actually utilizes bench. I'm mm. sure at a point in the game he's going to make substitution, and let's see if he's going to make um, a reasonable substitution that will come into the game, you know, and change the face of the game. Probably get the victory, or maybe when they are, when the Chinese actually got in their goal, make mm. the substitution that will come in, you know, and actually create a balance for them so they can defend and take the victory. Seems I expect for the Denmark coach also at a point in the second half they're going to make some good substitution. So it's still an open game for both of them, you know. We saw the first half of how much they engage themselves. It's a, it's a beautiful game of football, no doubt. A beautiful football. It's going to be a beautiful day. Then for the substitution for the bench of the Denmark side, you have Brooms, X, KG, Gavitz, Lexin K, Madsen, Ostergaard, then uh, Sineri, Zvazva, Tangansin, Triga, Trosgaard, then um, Van Gagard. Then the coach, that is the manager of the Denmark side, the manager of the Denmark side, remains Sundengard L. So what are we expecting? Uh, not really bad, not really much. On it. Like I said, the game is balanced. So they too also could also come up with um, a substitution in the second half. Let's see how it, how it turns out by the time we get to the 60th minute. Maybe um, China is going to make that substitution. And don't forget, um, China already made one substitution already. One, mm. um, I think that is Wang 
coming in for Shuang in this game. Mm. Wow, these are beautiful names. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. that is the first substitution. Let us see how much it's going to change the face of the game for China. I'm sure the coach of um, Denmark is also looking at the, how the game is going so you'll know who is going to bring on, uh, if it's going to be a right substitution. And you know, every coach wants to make a wrong substitution. You look at, the, at, the, at the, what is being played on the field of play before mm. you actually go into it and say you want to make any substitution. Mm. All right, before you go to make any substitution, right now let us look at the statistics in the second half. The second half, this is the um, 50th minute into the second half that is they've played five minutes into the second half and in the second half what has actually happened in the second half it is um goal attempts for china in the second half they've had two goal attempts in the second half they've had a shot on goal one in the second half shot off goal one in the second half free kick one in the second half and uh, for the side of denmark they've all oh, they actually had just one goal attempt in the second half Shot on goal, none. Shot of goal, none. And uh, so what are we expecting? And the corner kick, they have one corner kick in the second half. Yeah, one corner kick already in the second half. The game is so tight. That is the beauty mm -hmm. of it. It's so tight. But I just want to, I want to see goals in this game. That's what I want to see. <laughs> we expect to see goal. We expect to see goal. But when we look at it, these two sides have not actually, they've not actually won the female World Cup since inception. This yeah. is the ninth, this is the ninth female World Cup They've not actually won any yet. So uh, when are we expecting them not to win? Everybody can win? Not everybody can win the World Cup. That mm. is what you have to know. Just like Nigeria has participated in almost all the mm. female World Cup. Mm. We've not won any. So I don't really, these are not the powerful nations. That was what I was talking about. China declining against the big, against the big uh, team. Talking mm. about the teams like USA. USA is always a suspect at any female World Cup. Um, Germany is always a suspect. And you have um, England who are also coming up right now mm. with um, France. These are the biggest suspects when it comes to the female World Cup. So it's not really the time for, I think, if Ch Denmark or China should make it to the semi final, they'll be so much happy with themselves. All right, when we look at the FIFA ranking, we discovered that um, these both teams are just following each other closely. Um, Denmark is ranked 13 and China is ranked 14. And we see Denmark going higher. You know, so what are we expecting? Seeing, Just one like, rank. That's why you're seeing both of them playing against each other like yeah. Like they are on bumper the to bumper. Level, bumper to bumper, they're on the same level. Mm. So nothing really bad about them. Mm. Good game for I'm really enjoying the game they are actually playing. And I just hope they keep this momentum up to the up to the ninetieth minute. All right, they keep this momentum up to the ninetieth minute. Talking about the female World Cup, you know, we talk about those who have actually been crowned more than every other side. And when we talk about that, what, which country do you remember? You remember the United States of America. Yeah, because that is the home of female football in the world. Yeah, they have true. actually won the World Cup four times in 1991, 1999, 2015, and 2019. Four times. Then Germany follows. They won it twice in 2003 and 2007. Norway won it once. That, that is 1995. And Japan won it once. That is in 2011. I think this is the ninth edition. So who is good? So how do you see the winning so far? Yeah, well, US has actually dominated female football. Uh, you have um, Germany also, I think, with two trophies. So these are teams that have actually dominated. But you can see the you can see the quality of play in this competition right mm. now. Mm. You can see how much teams are actually improving. We saw um, IT gave um, England a run for for our money. We've seen Zambia defeated. Um, Germany during in a friendly match. Mm. Sweden has a, is they are not they're not so doing they are not doing bad, sorry. And you have on um, Brazil still in this competition. There are a lot of teams who are actually improving. And we have our own very own in Africa, Morocco, South Africa, and Nigeria also. Mm. These are these are nations that can on their own good day, they have fantastic players to actually battle it out against one of these all these best teams. Mm. So you know I won't be surprised at the end of this competition if one of these unknown country or Unrecognized or Tokens, on, yeah. um, on one of these teams you don't really, you don't mm. really rate as um, favorite comes up to win because mm. the level of play in this competition has really gone up. Has really, re really, really, really gone. Has really gone. really gone. Because there's no more 10-0. Yeah, there's no more 10-0. We have not seen 10-0 yet. Yeah, the, the highest so far is today's match that is Japan. That is the Japan. It's against yeah. Zambia. Yeah, it has to be. It has to come down to uh, uh, what's it called? Zambia. Zambia actually not. 
seeing themselves as as um, mm -hmm. being able to fight for that draw anymore. Mm -hmm. After after they considered that second goal, mm -hmm. they became flat and considered three more goals in the second half. Don't forget they considered four goals in the second half, which mm -hmm. was actually very bad for them because they had a fantastic first half. Mm -hmm. Even though they could have had um, the kind of mentality IT came in. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That game against England. They considered that goal in the first half. Apart aside that penalty, that might that might, might have ended 0-0. Hmm. It would have been a worthy one point for IET. So you, could, you can say it to yourself and say it again that football is improving. That we are, there's no more minors in football right now. Hmm. Every, team, every team will be looking at themselves like we don't have to take this country uh, and look at them as a small team. There's no more small team on the paper anymore. Every team are currently improving. It shows FIFA is actually spending money on these countries trying to up, uproot those talents and bring those talents out, find those talents, refre um, refine them into, into classical players and fine mm. players, and which is very good, which is very good one for every, uh, every country participating at the FIFA World Cup right now. Yeah, yeah you can, this is the only way you can get such analysis in Premier Sport Fan Center. So please, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click that subscription button if you have not subscribed to the Premier Sport. And remember, you can be part of this show by calling in to our our number is on the screen zero nine zero three zero four triple nine one seven and those calling from outside the shore uh two three four nine zero three zero four triple nine one seven you can call in to be part of this show so let's quickly look at the the goalkeeper of uh, Denmark Lene Christensen age twenty three years old um, she plays uh, this thing with uh, Rosenborg you know but she was from uh, calling calling so Rosenborg, and here we are seeing her already keeping a clean sheet, though we can't say clean sheet yet. But as it stands right now, uh, it is a um, clean sheet for now. Yeah, it's still a clean sheet for her for now, because mm. we can't really say a clean sheet like you said. Mm. But, you know, she, she actually kept her, her own her call in the first half. Um, do not face now much shots, or not really have to do, uh, she hasn't really have to do anything much in the first half, but she kept her cool. So, she, it's it's a good performance for her so far in this game. So she concedes the goal and probably see the type of goal, the kind of goal she concedes. Yeah. And then for the side of the Chinese, Hyun Zhu, age 24, uh, just, um, uh, she, she, she has not have any international uh, experience yet in any club. She's just, uh, she just a local base, local base player from China that is coming to the World Cup for the first time and representing his country. So uh, she's also skipping the clean sheet. This is his 50. 70 minutes into the second half and it is still goalless. She's still keeping a clean sheet. What do you have to say about her so far? Uh, fantastic one also from her. Like, just like the um, Demar goalkeeper, she hasn't mm. really seen much in this game. So, still um, a balanced game between both teams. We've not seen both teams actually try, um, what's it called, try so much against, this, uh, against each other. They're still trying to contain each other, play compact, compact football against each other. Probably both, both are still looking at it like they can settle for a draw and they will have a problem with that. So let's see how much, how much the game goes in. From since the fifth minute upward, I expect a lot of chances and a lot of cre creation in this game. Probably we'll see one or two goals. I'm, I'm, still, I, I'm still optimistic about that. that we, uh, at the end of the day, we might get one or two goals in this game. Right, we might get, we might get one or two goals in this game. Let's quickly look at... One of the forward of the Denmark side, that is Nicoline Sorensen. Nicoline Sorensen, she plays with um, Everton women. Yeah, but she has had a, a lot of experience because she has played for the Russian Guard women, the Lincoln Pin. And uh, from uh, Lincoln Pin, she went to Bronze Bay, Bronze Bay, and she played. And she has played three seasons for Everton. So, what are we expecting? She's one of those yeah, with the big names. Of, she's one of the uh, players with that experience, you know, mm -hmm. playing the um, English Premier League with Everton. Though Everton is not really one of the big team in, um, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to female football in England. But, you know, she's bringing that experience, experience um, from the WSL to the, to the mm -hmm. World Cup. So, let's see how much she actually um, gel with um, Penai Elder up front because mm. how much she actually gels is what determines uh, how much uh, mm. what's it called Denmark how many goals Denmark can actually score in this game mm. so that is just it about her all right so Penai Alda, as you said she's um, 30 years old she played for Bayern Munich and she have had experience so much experience because she has moved from Linkopin she played three seasons in Linkopin 
I mean, no, one, two, three, four, five, six seasons in League Cup before she went to Wolfsburg and went to Chelsea right now. Three seasons in Chelsea before going to Bayern Munich. 30 years old, she, has, she plays as the, as, the, as the last man, the scorer, yeah, she, the number nine. She used to be one of my favorite players when she was at Chelsea because she was very good, but unfortunately, she had to, she had to deal with her injuries, and that was one of her... All of the problems she had at Chelsea, almost almost last season, she didn't really, she didn't really play much for Chelsea last season due to injuries um, and all, until she left with her with her girlfriend. Yeah, let me say her girlfriend because mm. she dates one of she's dating one of the players, Eric Sim, who, who plays for Sweden. So they both left Chelsea for Bayern Munich. Mm. So I I just hope she's going to have an injury free season. Mm. she's a fantastic player like i said she was once on um, mm. the ballon the all winner wow so she's a fantastic player no doubt i just want her to just regain that confidence back so for what you just said now it appears that denmark has more scored has more players than china yeah, that's what i'm saying they have mm. more, they have more players mm. playing within europe yeah because you know you can't really rate um you can't really downgrade the uh what's it called the chinese league, the Asian league yes you can't just downgrade it that it's no it's not a good league because at the point in time, we had even the best player in Africa, Asisa Toshala, playing in the Chinese league. And we've seen a couple of players, even Brander, play, uh, Brander plays in the Chinese league. So it's not like it's a really bad, bad league like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we always have to give the preference to the European league and the BSL for that matter. So a lot of fantastic players in this competition from Europe. Penada is a, is a deadly striker any day. She's capable of doing and not doing anything. All right, let's just look at the last forward. We have talked about the two main forwards, three main forwards for the Denmark side. We've talked about um, two. Let's talk about the last one, and that is Johnny Thompson. Johnny Thompson, she plays for uh, Velerenga. Velerenga, that is, and uh, she has played four seasons for Velerenga. And uh, uh, she, in a previous um, uh, club, um, this is she has, she's played for VSK Authors. VSK Authors, and... Uh, she played for three seasons before moving to Villaranga. So, do you know much of her? Um, I don't really know much of, about her. But, mm. yeah, from, the, from what we've seen in this game so far, she's also a fantastic player. And the, the trio has actually been um, prolific for um, Denmark. It's just about them just getting that goal. That goal is what is lacking in this game. Since the two minutes into the game, we are so much hungry for the goal that might open this game for more goals. Just want to see that opening go. One goal should just go in, so uh, there can be something for the fans in the stadium to actually jubilate about. Mm. All right, something for the fans to jubilate. Um, it is in Denmark who is pressing on because they've taken possession, taken possession of 54 percent to 46 percent against China. Then goal attempt is equal five five goal attempt for both sides. Then shot on goal. Sorry, it is two for China and then. Despite the domination by the Denmark side, there is no shot on goal. Yeah. What they only have is shot off goal, two shot off goal. Another, another, um, mm. what's it called? Another Zambia in the making. Because that's what happened <laughs> in Zambia again. Another Zambia in the making. <laughs> <laughs> well, I expect, I expect they'll be shot on target very mm. soon in this game. Mm. That they are actually doing everything possible to actually get the goal. That's my problem with teams who actually always, who always want to play into the into the box before trying one of these um, shots. I'm always of the belief that like, you can try your shot from outside the, outside the box. It's a female game, for, for Christ's sake. Mm. Even the male, they try, the men team try the shot. They try taking shots. So I expect them to try and take shots in this game. And let's see if one of those shots can actually go in and give us a worthy go. And give us a worthy go. Remember, this is Premier Sport Fan Center. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscription button and be part of the family of the Premier Sport. Premier Sport is a place where we talk about sport and all football lovers are included we play we talk about the tennis we talk about long job we talk about athletics we talk about every sport you can be a member just subscribe and you always get the best from us but right now we are talking about the female world cup that is ongoing that is the match between denmark versus china and it is goalless goalless no goal yet no goal has been scored by either side but for now we'll be going for a short break and we'll be back in a moment don't go away Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment and we'll be here to give you all the runs, minute by minute and uh, highlight by highlight what is happening in this encounter between Denmark and China. Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment.
Yeah. Okay. Chelsea is coming back, whether they like it or not. All right. Once I, 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 I just go to my this account. Say Chelsea has so many substitutes. What bench win matches? We're not talking about the starting eleven. Now we have two starting eleven. Anybody can play now. It's not about two. Let my, let my two I see come back. First of all, anybody can. I, 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 anybody can collect from Chelsea. Anybody will collect. <laughs> this isn't maybe awful, but I'm telling you. Next is. This is Premier Sports Fan Center. My name is Menek Benwe. Don't forget to subscribe. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is a Mayu, a strong Mayu fan. versus Zurich. A win for both. Automatic qualify. A draw. Also qualify. Let's go hear what the fans have to say. This is Premier Sports Fan Centre. My name is Menek Benigwe. Please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> The teams with the biggest fan zone in the world, Chelsea versus Manchester United, they're about to start their match. And it has been a lot of talking between the fans, Manchester fans and Chelsea fans. Let's go hear what the fans have to say. This is Premier Sports Fan Centre.
that two chances, just like you said, Aubameyang was clear to give him the ball that he could have scored. Yeah. At least he could have given, even if he didn't score, at least give him the ball and have a chance to score. And you were always so selfish to play the ball out, understand? <laughs> The female World Cup, the match between Denmark versus China, and it is the 69th minute, and it is still goalless. No goal from either side. You can see it's a in very intense match. Denmark and uh, China holding it from the midfield, and you know counterizing each other from both ends. But no goal has been considered yet. And now you can see China moving one on one. He has one chance with the goalkeeper. What did he do? Oh, but you can see the Denmark rushing back. Five Denmark at the same time back to defend the. Yeah, defense. Yeah, That's a good I one. I think that was one too many, too much um, touches from the China. Mm. She couldn't, she couldn't decide or decide on what to, what she wanted to use the ball to do mm. in uh, early earlier enough. Sorry. So that was, that was what led to that. Um, what's it called? That loss of the ball. Seventieth minute into the game, you know, it's looking like a game we have to settle for zero zero, possibly maybe one zero. Um, right now we can see the Chinese actually growing into the game very much. Creating those chances, it's just about getting that goal. That's what this game actually lacks. Mm. Beautiful game we've seen for the past 70 minutes. You know, it's, it has been an interesting game. But let's let's just get the goal in this game. Let's get the goal in this game. You know, uh, right now, if you ask any football pre predictor, I would like to call them, to predict this match, it's one of the most difficult match to predict because both sides are attacking each other from all angles, from the midfield, from the defense, and from the attack. And uh, you don't know where the difference. The, you know the difference between this um, mm. Denmark game and the what's it called and the Zambia game we watched earlier. Mm. You can see this Denmark also they are also struggling to make any good impact mm. at the um, at the other third of the of the field. Mm. But we are not really seeing the impact on them because China too is not getting a goal from the uh, mm. from the Denmark side. But mm. China has actually been a better side to me right now in the second half because they've created good chances. They've gotten shots on target. But we have a Denmark who hasn't gotten just who hasn't gotten a single shot at target. Yeah, you can see there's a substitution it's coming in now. Right now, number 17 Denmark. is going out, and um, Mausen is that's for the Denmark side. Mausen is going out, and Sensin is coming in. That's number 17 oh, of the Denmark see, side. Let's see what she what she brings into yeah. this game. I expect her to come in with a um, lot of lot of attacking infuse, infusion into this game. Because that's what they need the bite at the front. They need the bite talking about Denmark. That bite is not there. It has just been passing, passing, passing galore from them. We've not really seen them try to play in penal other in this game. And that is their main man. So I don't know why they're actually not trying to play her into the game. Or should we say the Chinese defense has actually played the penal out of this game because she has really been she has really been caged in this game. And mm. you have to give it to the Chinese defenders. They are up to this task. Mm, yeah, up to this tax. Fight and clean defending mm. from them throughout this game. Yeah. And when you look at it, they have been clinical from the defense side. Yeah. And they don't allow the Denmark to have much play yeah, in their defense. Yeah, it is when you have much play in the defense that there will be a defensive error. <laughs> and you use that slight opportunity to just score that goal, and that is the end of the day, or, 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 or that is the end of the match. You'll be able to get your three points by scoring the goal. But right now, you can see the Chinese side being clinical in the defense. You know, once a, a Denmark side holds the ball, you can see four, two, two, three defender of the Chinese side will go through and surround that uh, Denmark uh, player. And before you know what's happening, they'll collect the ball and they'll con continue yeah. to attack. Well, that is Alpha, and that is a good one. So, um, with this kind of tactical football you are seeing right now, both sides holding each other, if you are the Denmark Coach, what tactical, you know, uh, this will you apply? What tactical tactics? Right now, will right, you... right now the game is almost ending, so mm. I'll, I will really expect them to play more of a compact football, defend together, and you know, mass attack. If the chance, if the chance come, take it, take it. And if it doesn't come, yeah, a draw is not a bad. That was a very, that was a close one for um. Hey, oh! so close. So that would close. have been a goal so for Denmark. So close for Denmark. Yeah, that would have been a very beautiful goal for Denmark, but they couldn't take their chance. Now they have a corner kick. So it's just about looking for that one goal. And if the goal doesn't come in by the 80th minute, I expect them to switch to defensive play and just try and take one point. It's better you take that one point than actually losing it out, losing mm. the whole three points mm. in the dead and dead and bounce of the game. All right, looking at the statistics so far, the ball position has risen 
and you can see China having 44% of the ball position, where Denmark is having 56% of the ball position. Goal attempt has actually closed gap. A corner kick for Denmark. We can take it. We the ball ahead. But that is over. It went over the bar. You know, the Denmark side are really coming closer. This time around, pressing the defense. At, uh, let me continue with the statistics I was reading earlier on. In a goal attempt, it remains seven for China and six for Denmark. Shot on goal two for China and none for Denmark. Shot off goal five for China and three for Denmark. Corner kick four for each. Looking at these two teams, I don't, I don't really expect England to have a problem against um, China and Denmark. I expect them to have grown into this game and take three point three three points each. That's six points of these two teams in the mm. group stage. So they don't really possess that much attacking threats. Just the game is being played in the midfield by both teams. And let's see, that's a chance for China. Oh, no, just it's <laughs> so close. That was so close. That was so close for Denmark. Mm. All right. From the group D, we, have, we saw the match between uh, England versus IIT. And now, this is the two, we are seeing the two... two, two, two you know, funny two. enough, IIT might stand... A chance for the man! Oh, what a goalkeeper save by the Chinese goalkeeper. What a beautiful save. What a beautiful save by the goalkeeper. Yeah, she came to the rescue there. Because that would have been a goal for, um, for Denmark. She That's a beautiful save from uh, Yanzhou. Yanzhou of the China side. I think uh, she has been so clinical in this very encounter. Uh, the, 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 the Denmark side are pressing on. You can see Hada and Thompson and uh, Swansin, the three for the outside. And you can see a protest there. The protest yeah, for a penalty with the referee answer that. It's a corner kick. There's no doubt. No mm. doubt. I don't expect a penalty there. That should be a corner kick. Oh. oh. oh I think that is, an, is the ref playing an infringement. Yes, an infringement on the goalkeeper. It's a, it's a mm. free kick to, um, them, to China. And China are quietly going to make a substitution. The number 14 is actually going out for a number 9. So they are making an attacking um, for, um, substitution here. Let's see what she brings into the, into the game. 15, um, 13 more minutes to go. There's 13 more regular minutes. Uh, 13 regular minutes to, you have to, to play. go regular, yeah. before additional time. So let's yeah. see what she can actually bring into this game. Um, mm. from right, from yeah. and, and that is the number 9. Uh, we expect a goal from her. And you can see... Um, number uh, 14 going out, and that is Louis. Lou, Louis going out for Shen. Shen is coming in. That is the number nine for the Chinese side. And uh, that is to tell you where you know good managers, where you know good coaching, it's the last 15 minutes of every game. <laughs> <laughs> the last 15 minutes of the, every game. I don't, that really is, expect, uh, I don't really expect anything in this game anymore because it's looking like a, a draw game for me. Yeah, it's looking like a game that went in draw, so mm. not really expecting any much. Do you see Haiti taking any of this team? Do you think Haiti can take any of this team? Uh, the way they took on England yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haiti can actually have it. They can have a good, um, a good game against um, what's it called? Against China and um, Denmark. It, Denmark. They can fastly get in a draw against one of these two teams. So mm. it's it's a game in their within within their rights. I believe they can actually get And you can see the substitution now for China. They are in the exit box of the Denmark side. You quickly pass the ball. You can see the defender of the Denmark are back. But they are still trying to break away. Shot! And went high above the pole of the goal. That was the high shot there. And you can see that's the substitute. Already making a goal attempt. Yeah. Uh, attempt on goal, but it's uh, over the bar. They've not, they've not been starved of goal attempts in this game. They've actually had uh, the only goal attempts in this game. We've not seen any goal attempt from, uh, what's it called, from Denmark. So, uh, left to me, Ada, Ada has been disappointing in this game. Above, um, uh, for all her standards, she has been disappointed, disappointing in this game. She hasn't mm. really been playing as the Pella Ada we used to know. Probably you have to give it to her due to... She just come back from injuries, you mm. know, a lot of injuries last season. So, and yeah, you can see the Denmark side, oh, that should be a free kick. That is why the form has, uh, has really gone down. Mm. Yeah. Right. You can see the China side. This is the 78 minutes. Let me say the 79th minute. We was having 11 minutes to go. And uh, <laughs> this is the last minute. Every manager should come up with all the tactical approach to win this match right now. Do you have any reserve bench? Now, is there anybody you can bring in or is there any change of tactics you want to play? You can see the China side playing a very sweet football flowing from the left side to the right side. Now quickly pass to the left side. One on one, what did they do? Did they cross the ball? Oh. 
<laughs> that is should be that's not a goal anyway. That was a, a wonderful play there for the side of uh, China. It's still, goal, it's still goalless, and it is Denmark who is attacking. The goalkeeper was able to save that. Yeah, she was, she was able to save that. That was a good, that was a good save from her. Mm. The goalkeeper was able to save and that. That's the chance for China. Oh, Denmark can they take this chance. No, no, that's a waste. Mm -hmm. You can see a quick throw there. There's a throw in there for the Denmark side from the, from the right side of the... Uh, Penalda should be scoring that. She actually, made, she actually made a mess of that. A true. Oh, what a shot! She made a mess of that. <laughs> she made a, a mess of that. All right, the match is still flowing. It's still goalless. It's a minute. It's a minute and thoughts in the game. We're now we're approaching the first minute of the game. Nine more minutes to go in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's looking like a game that both coaches will now have to try and defend so as not to concede late, uh, late unnecessary goals. Because that mm -hmm. was a great opening. The Chinese actually opened a lot in, in for Ada there. I think she'll have, she should have passed to, uh, to the next available player very close to her, but she had, she had all the options she wanted to do with the ball. Unfortunately, the, it couldn't eat the, the face of the, of the post. Hey, Charles, I'm going to What a miss! That would have been a goal. That's a good try. Let's quickly look at the statistics because the way it is going, I'm very sure the statistics will be rising with all this goal attempt so far. That was close. <laughs> it is 61% um, possession for Denmark and 39 for China. 5-5 five, five, uh, goal attempt for each. Then shot on goal one for China and none for Denmark. Then um, shot on goal four for China known for three for Denmark. Corner kick three for Denmark and um, one for China. It's, it's that is really, how far it is. It's really a close game. It's, close, it's really a close game for the two teams. So I see corner kick for they've Denmark. Actually, they've actually contained each other very Quickly well. Quickly taking uh, and you can see the Denmark pressing the shot. They were deflected and that should be a goal kick. Wow. This is one of the toughest matches. This is one of the yeah, tight this matches. This is so intense. Uh, this is one of the toughest games in this group, in, we've seen in group mm. stage. And that's no, 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 no. That's a shot of targets, not a shot of targets. Huh. So, and uh, you can see this is number 17. That is the substitute who just does came in now. Also, had, Maxine. Yeah, Maxine also had a goal attempt. Well, so, we're expecting a goal from her. She also <laughs> had a goal attempt. Yeah. <laughs> it might just be too late for a goal. I don't, I'm not, I don't really see any goal in this game anymore. Of Something course, like in the diamond, never say never. Uh, never say never, but you know, let's just be realistic. Yeah, it means it's much, it's much time to play in football, but it's looking like a game that is home and dry already. It's looking like a 0 0. You can see China already planning on making another substitution there. Let's see who is coming up for in the Chinese. Probably a striker or a defender, or let's see if they're trying to, if they're trying to defend or they're still trying to attack. Oh, you can see the, the Denmark side. This is the 83rd minute. The Denmark side attacking from the left side. What did she do? She has four defenders. He pass into the midfield of the 18 box. What is she trying to do there? Oh, that's a good defensive goal from the China side. Because you can see four defenders right behind her. And there was no way for her cross there for the Denmark side. <laughs> well, the match is becoming... Denmark actually seen much of the ball. Their problem is what, what, um, what they are going to do with the ball in, the, in this other half of, of um, what's it called? In the... Um, in the Chinese half, that's where they'll be having that issue. Mm -hmm. They are seeing more of the ball, they're creating chances. But the final, the final, uh, what's it called? The final, um, I don't know how I can put this. What's uh, the final output of the ball is what is giving, is letting them down in this game. And we can right. also see um, Denmark also going to make a substitution, substitution yeah. alongside the Chinese. China mm -hmm. also coming up, bringing in their number two. Okay, three. number Lee is going out. Lee is going out, that is number two. And number 23 is coming in, and that is Gao. Gao. He's coming. In. And you can see. see the confidence. Let's see what she's going to offer in this game. And that is number 9 coming in for um, Denmark. And that mm. is their number 19 who is being called out mm. that you've had enough play in this game. All right. You can see number 9, Thompson. And you can see um, Young's, Young's guard coming in for Thompson. Uh, number 19 going out. And. Uh, we expect to see the, you know, the value. Let's the, see the impact. Let's see the impact she's mm -hmm. going to bring into this game. Maybe she's just one of these, uh, what's it called, uh, super sub. Yeah, super sub. Right. That is the 85 minutes into the match. 
Still goalless. You can see them attacking from the left side, trying to beat the defense of the China side. But no way. Despite the fact they are smaller in size, but they are dangerous when it comes to attacking. When it, oh, what a game for the China side. You know, I mean, that's one thing, you know, today I saw the Haiti side, they were so tall. You know, they were so tall in the feed. They were playing, giving what they have. But yeah, we are, we are seeing the Chinese side, they have smaller body. You know, yeah, there, there's no horrible, that's, like that's we call them in Africa, no horrible among them. That's, that's, <laughs> the way, that's the typical way Chinese are built. Yeah. They are not really built on, you know, this big. Mm. But you know, the size is not really the matter in this game. They've mm. actually contained the height of um, Denmark. At least Denmark hasn't used the area threats at all. We've not seen any area threats from uh, from Denmark in this game to show that the Chinese actually have that deficit when it comes to height. They've mm. actually contained them very well. They've mm. played a beautiful game of football for the past 86 minutes. So mm. it's about just taking it, let's take it minute by minute and see. Probably we'll go on with this 0-0 zero, zero and just go up. Um, one point is actually it's not a bad one for any of these two teams because, mm. you know, with four points each, that's if they both get that victory against um, IET. Mm. With four points each, both of them should be able to finish at second and third. And mm. probably the third can move to the uh, second round as best loser best in this loser. Yeah. So one point, uh, if they both share one point here, it's actually not a bad one for them. And one, one of them can actually move on and play against England, play, for, play out for a draw. Or who says they can't beat England? You can just try out for that victory against the English, mm. and the English girls mm. in their next game. So... It's beautiful one for them. I just want to see how they play mm. against Haiti. That's where the problem is coming from right now because Haiti can actually turn out to be a spoiler mm. for any of these two teams. So what, what, what do you have to say with the new innovation of FIFA of having 32 countries in the World Cup and, and playing 64 matches in a single World Cup um, uh, tournament? Do we have 32? Yeah, 32 is the new okay. list in the 32 and 64 matches they have to play. Yeah, that's the normal number of matches the male team mm. also play. Right. That means we won't be having best results if we're having 32 teams. Mm. We won't be having best losers, so we move straight to system, round of 16. That is two qualifying from group stage to mm. the second round, so that there's no best losers. That's if there's if it's actually 32 teams. In it's, 32, it's 32 so teams. I think there's a shout for penalty right there. Mm. But let's see if the ref is going to give that, because I think she'll be called by VR. The, oh, there's an arm ball, but that might just... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. If, I think VR will be calling the ref to actually check that out. All right, we expect the VAR to call, but it's, not, it's like the VAR is not even calling. Oh, they're not, they're not even calling the ref. They're not even that, calling, that, and that the match has to continue. It's both one, not mm -hmm. intentional foul. Yeah, probably his hands were in the right position. Yes, our, our right hands were in the um, natural position. Natural so. position, yeah. So you're in the natural position, so there's no penalty to that. You know, those days when we were growing up, <laughs> you know, when we watch football, we watch without knowing the rules of uh, FIFA. Hey, you know, uh, the rules, what, the rules mm, are being updated. They are being updated, every, you know. Every now and then. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was those days, it was those days. Maybe there was handball in, in the team box and penalty was not penalty straight. We will be shouting, now Ojoro, now Ojoro, you know, by our own self, you know. But we don't know that there are rules. You understand what I'm saying? We don't know that there are rules guiding it. But now we know. So we should be able to interpret it and yeah. tell it. Yeah. So that is a good one. So let's quickly uh, uh, see what is happening in the world of the statistics. It still remains the same. But um, the possession still remains 61, 39. And goal attempt continue to increase for the uh, Denmark side. They have had um, eight goal attempt, and uh, China have had five goal attempt. Okay, it's yeah. nine minutes straight into this game. One more minute away from regulate, regular time. And we'll be seeing how much minutes or how many minutes the referee is going to award in this game. Probably five to six minutes because we've not really seen any VR problem in this game at all. So it has been a beautiful game of football from both from the left side to the right side of the page. They've actually served us beautiful, beautiful game. The only thing that, like, that this game lacks is the goal. The only thing it lacks is the goal. We have not seen any goal in this encounter. And um, in the whole of Group D, in the whole of Group D, we've only seen one goal. Finally, that's a goal for them. Oh, <laughs> what a goal for them, at ah, the end of the day, in the 90th see, minute. You can see the smile on the bench. Yes. You know, that's what we say about um, leave, leave the best for the last. And you know, <laughs> they've actually played it. They've actually played it lots. We've not really... And that's talking about the substitution, the number nine. She got that go for the day, for the days. Mm. Wow, that's beautiful. And they'll be so happy taking that taking this game late into this game. Wow, that's so much. That would be so much disappointed. Disappointed. Is the goal awarded? Is the goal referee. Look at the uh, face of the referee. What is the referee saying? There will be a VR check there. What is the referee saying? Oh, no, 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 no. 
Let's see the Vera might Vera might check this because she mm -hmm. was coming from offside position, but she wasn't in the offside position when the ball came to her. Mm -hmm. But there was an um, there was an infringement on the goalkeeper there. Mm -hmm. So VR might be interested in that because the oh no 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 that was an infringement. Let's see if the VR will be checking on the first um hit in the box. But I think they should leave this. This is actually a goal for Denmark. They actually deserve this. And you were talking about uh, the height. Mm. And that was what came to play for this goal here. Because it was <laughs> the height that really affected them there. Because yeah. it was from a corner kick. And mm. there was two nodding, in, two nodding there. Okay, the goal. I think the goal will be given. And it has been given. Oh, the goal has been given. Congratulations to Denmark. 90th minute. 90th minute. That's they that. do so much, <laughs> do so much blame themselves for that goal. Six <laughs> minutes has been added and we are going for six more additional minutes. Oh, there's a substitution from China bringing on their number 21. I'm, I'm very sure they'll be so disappointed. You know, it's, all, it's always annoying when you consider those late mm, goals mm. into the game. Wow. So, consider 90th minute when they were supposed to be celebrating. You were talking about the item. I was, I was like... Yeah, the height has, the height hasn't been any really has nothing to do, but you just saw it. All of a sudden, there was a corner <laughs> kick, and it has to be with the yeah, head and yeah. the assist from the from a nodding. Mm. Wow! So the height in football also matters because that's why you see sometimes. Uh, well, you know, you can you can complain against nature. They can't yeah, force, you know, they can't of, of, of course, you can't force it. You can't force, force it. But whatever they have to do, they have to bring <laughs> it to the ground. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever the, Ch the China side have to do, they have to bring wow, it to the ground. Wow. They'll because be, when they'll, it they'll be really disappointed about all this. They'll be so They've actually played well. The China side have actually played well. It's just that um, luck was not on their side. Yeah, luck wasn't on yeah, the side. Yeah, uh, it wasn't on their side. And uh, uh, we give it to them probably in their next match. I wish, I'm really sure they can beat England in the next mm. match. And they have beaten, they have beaten, defeated well, England before. That's, that's, a big, that's a big one to call. Mm. <laughs> that's a big one to call. <laughs> that's a big one to call. <laughs> that's a big one to call. But I don't want it to defeat my lovely team, IT. Mm. <laughs> But uh, we hope, we hope they defeat England and they move on. Or probably they're going to recognize here today. Do you see them coming up? Um, okay, there's still, lot, there's still a lot of time. Five, four more minutes is a lot of time in football. Let's mm. see if they can actually push one or two attack and get that equalizer. Because they don't really decide to lose mm. this game. Yeah. They've really played their heart out for 90 minutes. I was complaining about Denmark not creating a lot of chance. But just one chance, one shot on target and... It was a clinical one from the from the um, Danes. So that is one thing I think England and Haiti have to they have to study that this team don't actually create a lot of chance, but they can take just that one chance they create in the game mm. and turn it into a goal. Good goal for Denmark, good one for them. It's going to boost their confidence going into their next game. Mm. They know all they need is just one victory, one more victory in the group stage and they are and they are um, what's it called? They are sure of a second round mm. sp spots in this competition. Three minutes has been played out of the six minutes additional time. So we are three minutes away. China has just three minutes to find that equalizer. And Denmark has three minutes, you know, to keep this victory. Yeah, you have three minutes to keep the victory. And we'll give it to Vansgaard A. Vansgaard A, the scorer of the goal in the 91st yeah. minutes. Nobody expected her. She came in as a substitute. She came in as a substitute and she scored. Let us quickly look at as a six six. She plays for Paris Saint Germain. Wow, that's Her crazy. full name is Amelie Vansgaard. She plays for Paris Saint Germain. Though she had a professional career, she has been running. She plays for Nordjylland. She played three seasons before she went to. Linkopin, she played for two seasons. Most of the field they have played in Linkopin. <laughs> it's like Linkopin is a working ground for most yeah, of these people. It looks like a working ground for most of these uh, mm. things. Because mm. most of them, it's a good, it's a good club for female team, mm. no doubt. Just like if you look at the uh, German team, most of them plays for Bayern Munich or Werder Bremen. It shows how much these big teams are actually good in their country. And you see, it shows in the, in the way the Danes actually plays in this game. Fantastic team, fantastic players in this team. Hmm. Fantastic play, fantastic player in this team. And let's give it to the scorer because she came in in the 85th minute when um, Thompson was substituted. Wow. She came in in the 86 minute and just six minutes was enough for her to make a difference. Yeah, six minutes was enough for her to make a difference. You know, we've talked about how much Ada wasn't getting, getting that service or... Hmm. Getting someone to play in or play along with in the in the final third of this game, that that was almost a goal for uh, China there. Mm. Unfortunately, they couldn't get that goal. That was a dummy that 
eventually. Oh, what a miss! Out was so close. So close. So close. And that would have been an outbreaking one for, <laughs> for them. And, you know, after causing uh, China that outbreak in the, in the, on the United May, they were almost getting their own in the mm -hmm. fifth minutes of additional time. But God was on their side. All right. God and was on their side. Into the last minute of this game, five. They went to the sixth minute already. Mm -hmm. Yes, about six minutes. Anytime from now, the referee will be blowing final. It's, I will play a final with you. You know, you have to give it to the female referees in this competition. Wow. They've actually been top notch. No so touch. Had less, less controversies. You know, it shows that what the men can do, the women can mm -hmm. also do it. And they will do it better. It, they can do it better. Wow, they can do it better. And they honestly, when we talk about the officiating, the female side, they've been good. I've not seen any controversial moment that they didn't get yeah. right. Whether with the help of the VAR, but sometimes when you look at the men's side, they just want to overlook the <laughs> VAR and give their final decision. And there's nothing you can do to them at that moment yeah. because they are in charge. But here you can see the justice in the heart of the women. They are giving it to us just the way, the fairness in the heart of the women. They are giving it to, to us just the way we expected it. And that is good for them. So, um, any moment from now, we'll be looking at the final whistle. Um, Denmark will, will actually be so much. They'll be the, they'll be the happy, happier side of this too. You know, getting that goal late into the into the into this game, Denmark, um, China will be so much disappointed because at the point they were looking at it, like they could get a full time draw, but it's eluded them right now, and the Danes are actually going to be going home as victors already. All right, regulation time over, and the referee has just blown the final whistle. And that is the end of the match. Congratulations to Denmark. And that means in Group D. We have England on three points, Denmark on three points, um, China zero points, and IET zero points. So there's all to play in the second game in this group. All to play in the second game of this group. Right now, it is Denmark that stand tops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, based on um, uh, letters. Based on statistics. No, letters. The, okay. Um, how the name are being formulated. Their name starts from D and England starts from E. Okay. So that's why they are, they are um, correctly topping because both of them has, both of them have um, three, three points and just one goal from the game. So mm -hmm. that's just it. Now, so, now, now, so they played the first matches, they played 1-1-0. One, one, one Australia 1-1-0. One, one, New Zealand 1-1-0. One, one, and today we saw um, England 1-1-0. One, one, and... Um, now it is Denmark who has won one nil again. So is it the one nil affair in this World Cup? Yeah, it's not like it's one nil affair in the World Cup, but you know, the chances are not really coming in. Every every team has actually improved. We don't have uh, minors in, in in football anymore. Mm -hmm. So that is why we're having good game of football. At a point, New Zealand were in minors. Well, we saw the we saw the uh, New Zealand girls in the four, in the opening game, mm -hmm. and they got a victory. So that's one of the beauty of, of this game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you, got, you have teams who can actually play against each other and not looking like minors, mm -hmm. it's to the beauty of it. It's to the beauty of it. This is Premier Sport Fan Center. I told you around, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We always give you the best. We always analyze all the matches in the World Cup. We give it to you the way you will understand. And always be with us. Always stay with us. You can send your live chat and you can uh, also call us, as I said before, Tomorrow is another beautiful day for the World Cup, and it is another African country, and that is the South African, the hope of Africa. We will be playing tomorrow, 6, oh, 6 a.m. Nigerian time, right? Yeah, 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be here live to cover that match, and I hope you will be with us to make your contribution through, through live chat and through call. We will say whatever you feel should be situation or problem. We'll be open tomorrow, so don't forget. And remember, Nigeria matches on Thursday against Australia. Oh, that is another this, big one. Then Zambia part. also on the 26th against uh, Spain. Another big one for African side. Yeah, another big one for African side. The Super Falcons against the Matildas of mm. Australia. Everybody <laughs> wants to see that game. But, you know, it's so, it's so painful that my girl won't be playing for Australia talking about Sam K. But, you know, beauty, um, good one for Nigeria, bad one for Australia. Because mm. that is one less, one less threat in that game for us. Mm. I expect the Super Falcons, you know, to come all out. They have nothing to lose. They have one point already. Mm. Four points is good enough to get them the, the second spot in that group. But you know, you don't rely on on the last game. Mm. They can. They have what it takes to defeat Australia right there in Australia. So I'll be with the Super Falcons. 
on Thursday. All right, with the Super Fight Club on Thursday. So let's quick, can you just quickly in one minute summarize what you have watched so far in this very encounter, the match oh, between Denmark versus China? This happens to be the most interesting game for me today because mm. you could see how technically balanced the two teams are. Mm. They came into this game with good plans and to contain each other. And they, unfortunately for the Chinese, they had to consider go late deep into the game. And I think they don't, have, they don't really have to blame themselves or, or eat themselves hard over that. Uh, there's so much positivity to take away from this game going into the next game with whoever they're playing with, probably England or Haiti. And I expect them to actually be a worthy challenge, challenger. So it's worthy teams. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to the studio. Oh, it's a pleasure. All right. It's been a lovely day and it's been a long day. So that's how far we can go for today. The three matches has been covered by Premier Sports Fan Center, and we want to thank you for staying with us. We want to thank you for all the live chat messages you sent to us, and we want to thank all those who have called in to make their contribution. For now, we'll be saying goodbye. See you tomorrow as we cover South African match. Bye-bye.